Okay, so today we're just reviewing fractions. This is just designed as a quick review for anyone who has already had fractions before, but just need to be able to polish up your skills on what exactly a fraction is. So a fraction is going to be expressed as two different things. One is that the first part is that a fraction is part of a whole. So if you had like a piece of a whole pizza or a piece of a pie, so here's a whole pizza and let's say you have one of these pieces and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's say you have one piece out of eight pieces and let's say you ate that one piece. You could express that as one over eight, one out of eight. You could also express um, a fraction is also a part of a set, like in a dozen cupcakes. So down here we have 12 cupcakes. They all have chocolate uh, frosting or icing. So I could say 12 out of 12 of these are have chocolate icing. If we changed one of these to vanilla, and we could say that one out of 12 has vanilla icing. So a fraction is either expressed as part of a whole or it's part of a set. In order to have a fraction, you must always have equal parts. So this right here, this is not equal parts. You can tell, look at all these different size pieces. That's not okay. In order to be a fraction, it must have equal parts or equal, so everything has to be equal. And you can tell that these are the exact same size. So what does a fraction look like? Well, a fraction has usually has two numbers and is separated by this little bar. This first number is the numerator, and this usually tells how many pieces there are, um, or how like how many pieces that you ate, or how many have a out of a set or something different. And then down here is always the total. This is the denominator. So the bottom number is the total. In this particular case, I could have one out of four cupcakes. One of those cupcakes could be chocolate out of four. Or if we had, say, a, a pie, I just really like food today. Um, if you had a whole pie, one out of four pieces have been ate. You have ate one out of four pieces, so therefore one fourth of the pie is gone. So how do we read some fractions? Well, in order to read fractions, this is one half. So one half, one third, one third, one fourth, one over four, one sixth, one eighth, one tenth. These are all basic unit fractions. They have a one in the numerator. Um, we could totally change this out at any time. We could have said three eighths, and then we could have wrote three over eight. So if we went into some examples, for example, this is a part of a set. Just how would we write this? Um, here's our problem. We made six cookies. One of them is peanut butter and five are chocolate chip. How would you write the number of peanut butter cookies as a fraction? Think about that for a second. How many peanut butter cookies out of the six cookies are peanut butter? So let's draw a little picture here. So we've got a picture. Here's our six cookies. I know that one of those cookies is peanut butter and the other five are chocolate chip. And I know this because it says so right here in the problem. Oh, go back. So five are chocolate chip. Um, we would write this as the number of peanut butter cookies. So we have one out of six cookies. So one out of six is peanut butter. I could also have asked if the question said, how many are chocolate chip? I could have wrote five out of six are chocolate chip because one, two, three, four, five. You guys try this one. What fraction of the stars are yellow? And I'll pause and you could pause also while you figure this out. All right, if you said four of them are yellow, so four out of how many? There are 10 total stars, so you should have wrote four over 10, so four tenths of the stars are yellow. If we want to look at parts of a whole instead of parts of a set, here's another one of those pizza examples. I ordered one whole pizza and it was cut into eight slices. I ate two of them. What fraction of the whole pizza did I eat? Well, if I eat these two out of eight, I ate two out of eight pieces or at two eighths of the pizza. If I only ate one piece out of the eight, then one eighth of the pizza. 
If I eat all of the pieces, all eight, then eight out of eight pieces. All right, you guys, try this one. Here's a hexagon. How much of the hexagon is purple? All right, if you said one out of six pieces, you are absolutely correct.